are you following these pop culture influencers? Mm-hmm. You know, uh, what's the dude? What's the boxer dude? The the dude that's just the TikTok guy. That oh, Jake, Jake Paul. Uh, yeah, uh, you know <laughs> these guys so that old have. Right there. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> That's you know Elizabeth's over there shaking her head. I know, she's like, <laughs> <"He's> freaking. <laughs> but but point point being is is what what positive value is he bringing other than shock value, right? That mm-hmm. negative algorithm that social media has created. And him, you know, pulling up to Conor McGregor and calling him out, like you know, a, a, one of the one of the greatest UFC champions that they've had, and and not that he's a great influence right. by any means, right? right. But. Like, what value is he bringing other than being a shit talker? Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's but it. You know what? But what's no, brilliant but about what's that? Brilliant, though, is there, <laughs> here we go. There what's, some brilliant. <laughs> what's brilliant is Tyler, who did, couldn't even say his name right, you know the story. But yes. here's, but, you were influenced but again, by that. But again, back to our original, what are you paying attention yeah. to? Yeah. Is anything that I do following him mm-hmm. contributing to the success of my career, my See, family, that's or how anything? we look at things. I think that's how, like, I don't know. I keep, out, Get I keep on <laughs> outdating myself in here, but I'm trying to pull. I'm trying to pull what ever value I can get out of the story, right? Whatever yeah. it is, right? It's got to to me in my mind always works. Okay, what is it that I can utilize to help myself? Yeah. Period. In which nowadays I'm, I'm looking at my son, and it's just okay. He, he's like dumbed it all the way down. Yeah. Like hey, that's funny. Yeah. And then moves. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I mean, so, there's nothing of so substance. That's, okay. So that's, that's a good point. That's there's the, nothing of substance in this. That's the mental, that's the mental control that you have. You say, okay, I got someone like Jake Paul or uh, Dan Bilzerian. Bilzerian yeah. um, these guys that are just like, dude, what, what are you doing? Right. right. Like, but you're saying, okay, the mental shift inside of me is okay. I'm going to see what he's doing good and I'm going to take the positivity out of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, very easily, I could look at this and be like, these millennials, they're just pieces of crap. They bring no value. They right. don't do anything. But I'm saying, okay, actually, I can learn something from him because right. I'm taking whatever content is there and I'm shifting my mindset and saying, okay, what, what's good about this? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to sift through the stuff that doesn't bring value to myself, my family, or my right. career. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to take the good things. Yeah. Okay, let's look at the marketing that he does. He's got this figured out. He's figured out this TikTok model. He's right. figured this out. Okay, what can I learn from it? I'm going to take that. But that's what you're paying attention to. Yeah. Not, not, not the, the negative yeah. nonsense exactly. that yeah. he's doing. Exactly. That's gold, right? That's, yep. that's perfect because that's exactly what I was going to say is we've spent a lot of time on the negative side of it. Yeah. But, man, there's some great opportunities yes. on yeah. social Absolutely. media. Absolutely. Yeah. There are so many opportunities to do good. And that's yeah. what we're talking about. You can control your sphere of influence. Yeah. If you start producing good content, positive content, things that people can latch on to and really make a great difference that's the great thing or i mean again we talk about jake paul and and the downside but like we said he's brilliant at marketing how many the dude is a multi-millionaire based off of youtube yeah Mm -hmm. you couldn't do that 15 years ago 